And with a record number of new cases and people gathering for the new year, there will likely be more looking to get tested in the coming days. But when exactly should you get tested and what type of test should you get? News 19's Becky Buds has the answer. Car after car, lining up at COVID testing sites across the Midlands. There is a lot of panic testing going on, and that's why you can't find a rapid test at the drugstore. Dr. Todd Crump from Lexington Medical Center says he's seen hundreds of people coming to the ER looking for a test after Christmas. The CDC recommends testing if you have COVID symptoms or have been in close contact with someone who's tested positive. If you're vaccinated, test five to seven days after your last exposure. If you're not vaccinated, get tested right away. If the test is negative, test again five to seven days later or as soon as symptoms develop. There are currently two tests on the market, rapid and PCR. Dr. Crump explains the difference. So the rapid test basically looks for fragments of the virus that have been shed. And so you usually have to have symptoms for a few days before that test will be positive. The PCR test actually measures um, the DNA or actually the RNA, the genetic material, and the COVID virus. Health officials say it appears the Omicron variant is proving to be milder than the Delta variant. Dr. Brandon Traxler from DHEC is urging those who test positive to stay home. Um, if your symptoms are, are mild um, and you can take care of yourself at home, then I encourage people to do that so that we avoid overcrowding the ERs. If you aren't having any difficulty breathing or catching your breath, I recommend trying an over-the-counter antihistamine or some Mucinex, and usually symptoms resolve in a couple of days. DHEC says they're planning on increasing capacity at current testing sites in order to decrease those wait times, and they're working on adding additional testing sites throughout the state. Reporting outside of DHEC, Becky Buds, News 19, WLTX.